This teen comedy was a massive hit in the summer of 1986 when it earned over 11 times its small $5 million budget. Writer, producer, and director John Hughes once again takes us inside the mind and life of an American teenager on one crazy day of adventures when he decides to skip school. Matthew Broderick stars as the title character, an aloof high schooler who shuns responsibility and lives in a dream world without consequences, often explaining his greedy actions via fourth wall breaking soliloquies, including his own personal mantra that bookends the film, life moves pretty fast, if you don't stop and look around once in a while, you can miss it. Alan Ruck and Mia Sara play as two best friends and showcase excellent range of comedic timing as a threesome, bringing to life a very realistic and lived-in sort of friendship, all while evading their overzealous principal played by Jeffrey Jones in an amusing physical comedy type role. Jennifer Grey, Edie McClurg, Ben Stein, and a young Charlie Sheen also give great performances in smaller supporting roles. Although the movie has plenty of memorable moments, the landmark sequence is undoubtedly Broderick crashing Chicago's Van Steuben Day Parade and lip-syncing to Twist and Shout, with real-life Chicagoans playfully dancing along with him in the background. Here, give me the phone. I have another call. Huh. I've had enough of this horsing around. Give me the phone back. You touch me, I yell rat. There's another phone around here somewhere. Find it. Wonderful. I weep for the future. Okay, Ferris, can we just let it go, please? Ferris, please. Come on, too far. You're gonna get busted. A, you can never go too far. B, if I'm gonna get busted, it is not gonna be by a guy like that. The film was a self-proclaimed love letter to the city of Chicago, with Hughes doing a fantastic job showing off many famous places and areas of his Windy City hometown, from the Sears Tower to the Art Institute, with wonderfully framed anamorphic shots. Kids and teens will surely enjoy this PG-13 rated picture, if only as a fantasy realized on the big screen. What if you could skip school for a day and live life large with your friends in the big city? Certainly plenty of fun and hilarity to go around, but the movie, especially its titular hero, is just shallow. The individual characters and endlessly quotable dialogue all work well, of course. Hughes' understanding and handling of teen emotions and thinking saves this picture. Reportedly, he wrote the entire script in under a week, and honestly, it shows. The disconnected scenes have little flow between them, and are mashed together for no other reason than to pad out the 103-minute runtime. There's no consequence to any of Bueller's actions, no remorse, humility, or lessons learned. In short, he's a terrible role model who treats his friends like crap and gets away with it because the movie needed a materialistic happy ending. That said, a final race sequence to the suburbs of Chicago, set to the funky sounds of Yellow's Oh Yeah, are a great send-off to one of the more iconic characters of 80s cinema. Ultimately nothing more than a relatable, but empty and drawn-out experience that fails to really explore the teen psyche or ever impart any morals or wisdom. This is a disposable bit of fun I won't be clamoring to watch again anytime soon. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Pointless, overrated fluff that delights. Here's what you had to say in the YouTube comments. Our scores for Ferris Bueller's Day Off, an 8 and a 6. You love the characters and funny moments scoring this a great. While I definitely had fun watching the movie, Bueller just isn't a particularly likable character in my opinion, and since the whole premise rests on relating to his experiences, I was unfortunately underwhelmed. I'm rating this a good.